Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're going to make another snowman spoon, but I'm going to do it differently. I used a regular wooden spoon, and I am going to cover it with the antique wax, and I did the whole handle and the back, and I did everything but the actual spoon part. Once I had that all done, I am going to take some antique white paint and paint just the spoon part. And I'm gonna try and not get any outside of the lines. Once I had that all done, I can start painting my face. So I'm just going to use the back side of my paintbrush to put two black dots for his eyes. Kind of making sure that I have them rounded out. Next, I'm going to take a dark pink and just put some pink on the cheeks to give him some rosy cheeks. Had to swap out for a better paintbrush. Making sure they're kind of rounded. They don't have to be perfect. And how cute. Next, I'm gonna take a really thin brush and give him a nose. Even it all out, make sure that it looks good and fill it all in. You may need to do a second coat on the orange. I usually go back in and just fill in what didn't fully fill in. Then I'm going to add some dots for his mouth and I'm just using that embossing tool that I got at Dollar Tree. I absolutely love this tool. I use it for everything. Now that we have his face all done, I'm gonna add a couple of eyebrows real quick. And now I had drilled a hole in the top of the spoon and I'm just gonna run a piece of twine through it and then tie it off in a knot. And that's gonna be the hanger. And then I'm going to take my embossing tool again and just add two little white dots for his eyes. Next, I cut the sleeve off of a sweater and then I cut it down to the size that I wanted it. And it was just an old sweater that I got at a thrift store and I've been using it for snowman hats and Christmas trees and all kinds of different things. Uh, sweaters are so versatile when it comes time to crafting. And I'm going to just glue the front and then I'm going to fold up the cuff and glue that down. And then I'm just going to fold it around the back. And then I'm just going to go up the whole length of it with some glue and kind of pull it all together. I'm just going to kind of lay it over itself and then just start gluing it together. And I kind of stretched it a little bit because I wanted it to be longer. And I'm going to slouch it down a little bit. Once we're finished, I'm just going to kind of hold it next to each other and then just glue down. And I'm going to keep going all the way up to the top. And then I noticed that my little cuff down here needed a little bit more glue. So I'm just going to add a dab of glue to that to hold that into place. And look at how cute this little hat looks. And I'm going to leave it really long like that. And I'm going to take a piece of red ticking fabric that I had. And I just ripped off a strip. And then I'm just going to tie that in the top. And then I'm going to kind of slouch down the hat. And tie it off into a double knot. Kind of make like a little bit of a bow out of it. And look at I love it. Next, I'm going to take this rusty snowflake that I had. And I'm going to put that right on top of the hat. And I love the way that looks. He's looking so cute. Then I took this little tag that says let it snow that I made and a rusty safety pin and bell. And I'm going to add that to the top where I tied that ticking in. I'm going to push through and close it off. Kind of arrange it how I want it. And look it. I love it. I love his hat, it's so cute. Then I took a little white button and it's a snowflake and I put that right on top of the rusty snowflake. And I think that was the perfect touch to this. I think this turned out so super cute. I absolutely love it. 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope this inspires you to make one. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.